Hello, hello, hello. I hope you guys had a wonderful 2015. It is now time for 2016. Me and Miss Ariel here on YouTube got together to create our New Year's Eve makeup looks. Make sure you head over to her channel to learn how to create her look and to learn how to do mine. Just keep on watching. So I switched up my eyebrow tool that I use for my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz instead of the Dip Brow. Um, it's just a temporary switch, I guess. I'm liking it because it's easier to use than the pomade and the brush. And the pomade tends to dry out a little bit, so um, I decided to use the Brow Wiz and I've been really liking it. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows. And then now I'm moving on to priming my eyelids, which I am using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm just blending it in with my fingers. Then with my finger, I also am applying my eyeshadow, the first eyeshadow with my fingers. And I'm using the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Palette. It is, um, I think it's called Comfort Zone and you can get it at Walmart. So I'm applying um, that shade to my lid and I'm blending it in with a Morphe M441 brush and then with a Makeup Addiction pencil brush, I'm applying the black shimmer shade that's right next door to that other, the brown shade. And then back in to blend out with my Morphe brush and then with um, the brow bone shade, I will be placing that on my brow bone. And after those three steps, this is how your eyes should look. Next step will be to apply lashes if you decide to wear lashes, um, but it is totally your choice. You could just layer on mascara. My favorite, favorite, favorite at the moment is the L'Oreal Voluminous, so that is an amazing choice to make if you do not want to wear lashes. Next, I am priming my skin, and first all over my face, I'm using my Smashbox Primer, and then right around my mouth and nose and chin area, I'm applying the Tarte Smoothing Primer, and I love this combination together. It makes my foundation look so airbrushed. And because um, this is like a holiday tutorial, I wanted to make sure my face was kind of luminous, so I applied all over the Gerard Cosmetics illuminator and just blended it in with a Morphe Duo Fiber Brush. For foundation, I'm doing another favorite that of mine at the moment. I am mixing the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and the Cover FX uh, Natural Finish Foundation. My exact shade numbers will be down in the description box, but otherwise I love this combination. I've been using it every day since I figured out that I liked it. <laughs> um, so now I am highlighting and I am using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. Amazing concealer. I've said it in previous tutorials and just blend it in with a um, beauty blender. Then this right here has been a lifesaver. After I put on all my cream products, I have to spray my face with a setting um, spray before I set it with powders and my foundation lasts all day. I have been amazed on how well that it works. I see a major difference when I don't do it. So yeah, I'm glad I figured that out. So I'm glad I'm able to tell you guys. Now, um, you just saw me setting my face after I sprayed my face with the Laura Mercier powder. And then I'm just dusting it off with a e.l.f. complexion brush. Then to get rid of the ashy look and to set the rest of my face, I'm using my Lancome Powder Foundation. And that right there that you see me doing with my nose, I will be doing a nose contour tutorial. So be on the lookout for that. I have found a way to do a natural nose contour. So I will be sharing it with you guys soon. Then on top of where I've already highlighted, I am putting my um, Morphe 9C palette. It is my favorite. Um, I really love the yellow color that it has. It's perfect. And then I'm using some of the contour shades in there to contour. And then because I am smoking out my lower lash line more than I've ever done, I am first putting the LA Girl Black Gel Liner in my waterline and then I am putting it on my lash line as well. And then with a Zoeva brush, I am blending that out as far as I can blend it out before it's um, drying, you know, it dries after a little while. So where, wherever I can blend it to before it dries all the way, that's where I'm blending it to. And then I am taking Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and I am putting it right below and a little bit on the black just to give it a nice transition. 
Next with the mascara I was just raving about, I am putting that on my lower lashes and I swear y'all, this la I mean this uh, mascara makes my lashes look like fake lashes. Next I'm going to highlight and I am using the Morphe fan brush, uh, let me see the number, it is a M310 with the Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminator and then I went a little um, extra. I do try to only use a, a minimum amount of product so you guys can recreate it but I really really wanted to do this red ombre that was intense. So first I am lining my lips with the MAC Night Moth Limp Pencil and then I'm um, just doing right on top of that the LA Splash Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ravenclaw. And then in the center, I am using the LA Girl Matte Pigment Gloss in the shade Secret. And then right on top of that, I'm dabbing Anastasia Beverly Hills Serif Fine Liquid Lipstick. And then I'm just blending everything together with a e.l.f. Small Precision Brush. Thank you so much for watching and if you came from Ariel's channel, thank you so, so much for coming over. Make sure you subscribe before you leave and for those of you that are already subscribed, make sure you check out Ariel's video as well. Thank you again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.